Hello, my name is Sean Doherty. I'm the Executive Director for the Wallingford Family YMCA. Looking to bring to you our very exciting project called a Universal Family Locker Room to be constructed at the Wallingford Family YMCA on 81 South Elm Street. We're actually converting a boys, girls, and family changing room into one large, very private, very convenient, accessible, and brand new locker room for the community. And first, to start off a little bit, the YMCA had a total of 238,416 visits in 2023. So we have a lot of traffic that goes through the Wallingford Family YMCA. A lot of folks using the pools, a lot of folks using the fitness center, gymnasium, etc. We had heard from members over time that the boys' locker room lacked its privacy. The girls' locker room was outdated in disrepair. So we took the opportunity in bringing these new locker rooms to the community to provide a new progressive opportunity for community members to come and be welcomed and again, convenience and private and also welcoming for all. The locker rooms will have 76 lockers, 10 individual changing rooms, including four handicap accessible, eight private showers, including four accessible, four private toilets, including four accessible, two showers available for quick rinse to and from the pool. One of the YMCA's requirements is a bathing code for all patrons that are going to swim have to bathe first before they go into the pool area. So there'll be a rinse area for them. Four shared sinks with motion activated faucets, sinks. We also have ceramic tile flooring, energy efficient LED lighting, a beautiful locker room uh, to attend to at the Y. One of the questions we get is, what does universal mean when you're ref referring to this locker room? This universal locker room, with its complexity of private changing rooms, showers, and toilets, can be used universally by all members, regardless of gender. These spaces are inclusive of members with disabilities, members of all genders, ages, and anyone who wants additional privacy. As I mentioned earlier, both the men's and the boys' locker rooms lacked privacy as they were first designed back in the 60s and 70s at the Y. Why was this built? The locker room was designed to support adults, caregivers, accompanying youth, and for our members with special needs. We have heard from members that felt uncomfortable only having a traditional choice of locker rooms with communal or open showers. It was determined that a number of members, caregivers, and community would benefit from this change, and thus the new universal locker room concept was created to can provide a convenient and safe space for to use lockers, access the facility, etc. The protocol for using a locker room space is as follows. Members are asked to keep all of their, you know, changing and showering and everything behind closed doors. There is a common area for lockers, use, sink use, grooming areas. That's where you have to be clothed, but the common areas like I mentioned are all where clothes need to be worn. Behind closed doors for the changing area, for the showers, for the bathrooms, those where you can be without clothes. Do you have to use the universal locker room at the Wallingford Family YMCA? No, you do not. Uh, we still will have a men and women's locker room on the second floor for all individuals ages 18 and older. Will the locker rooms be supervised? While the YMCA will not place a staff member in there, we will have constant supervision of the locker rooms, especially as we reopen to the public. Because this is a change of routine, this is a change of culture, we want to make sure that everybody understands how to use the facility in the correct manner. The Wallingford Family YMCA is also not the first to introduce a locker room such as this. Uh, there's a couple in, in Connecticut, New Canaan, Brookfield, uh, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, across the country as well. We utilize the Newport County YMCA as kind of our test to go down, take the staff down, take board members down, see how it works, see how it functions and see if that would work in Wallingford. And we were very pleasantly pleased when we saw the Newport Y. Their family memberships also were very, um, thought very positive of this and they spiked as far as their membership base. Some of the photos that are gonna be seen on the screen will go look at the way the universal locker room is set up at the Newport Y, how the changing area is are, how the condo units, which are the sink, the toilet, and the shower units, as you can see, the doors go all the way up to the top of the ceiling and also way, all the way down to the bottom. So it's fully private. The next slide kind of goes into our conversion and also demolition plan from the locker rooms you saw before to what they're going to look like at the end. Then it goes into kind of our finishes for the project. Uh, we're really excited about the ceramic tile flooring, ceramic tile walls, and all the wet areas, the showers, the toilets, etc and the new LED lighting, the sinks, the chlorine, the 
the new faucets and whatnot. Uh, we're really excited about this project and want to hear back from the community as well as what their thoughts are. And you can always reach out to the Walling for Family YMCA, especially to my attention, if you'd like to learn more, um, get more information, you can definitely go to our website at wallingfordymca.org. We also have it under the construction tab. And at the end of the day, this space is essential, ensuring that everyone feels comfortable and respected at the YMCA. Thank you for your time.